and go. now. And three, two, one, now. <clears throat> right then, my my throat got perfect uh, time to start. Uh, perfect timing, thank you. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the Brothers Game. It's me, Nikolai, and, and that's me, Brian. Brian. Hello. That is us. And by Brothers Game Podcast, I mean welcome to the Nikolai and Brian ramble about Tears of the Kingdom uh, for an hour. More or podcast. less, yeah. At least it is today. Brian, what ep- what episode is this? 61, 61 two, one, three, I believe. 61. 61. I think it is 61. Yeah. Welcome to episode 61, if it is that. Mm-hmm. Um, and welcome our YouTube listeners. My good. Because we are now yep. caught up, baby. That's right. If you're listening to this, we're all caught up. Yes. Yep. So you can listen either on YouTube or Spotify or whatever else. Mm-hmm. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, we have been playing... Some Zelda. Ever heard of the Zelda game that came mm-hmm. out? It's a uh, it's a pretty good one. It's a pretty so, good one. So you had this you had this game. It was called Zelda: Bre- uh, Le- The Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. Uh huh. Uh huh. And it was it basically changed everything. Became basically my favorite game. It's I mean it was a it, lot of people's favorite. It game. was up there at least top, <laughs> at least top five, right? It's easily it, it, like. If you, I, I think if you ask a lot of people, they would say it's probably the best game to come out in like 10, 15 years right. or something. Right. And I don't think they're wrong. Honestly. I, I, I don't, I didn't think it was possible to look back on Breath of the Wild and think of it as restrained. Yeah. <laughs> as a game that was uh, very open and, and very interesting and beautiful. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, yeah, restrained or constrained almost. Mm-hmm. Uh, whereas this game is not that. Yeah, it is the opposite of that. Yeah. There are the the limiters were taken off. <laughs> this is like this is Rock Lee before and after dropping the weights. Yeah, is what it feels like. <laughs> it's it's a lot, Brian. If you were to, if you had to guess, how many hours do you think uh, are you in to Zelda? I'm Maybe. gonna guess at least thirty, right? Oh, I think it's more like twenty as well. Oh, really? Okay, Probably. I'm 60 hours oh, wow. into Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, wow. according to my Switch. Okay. So, so I'm playing it a lot. Yeah. It's really hard to not stay up till 2 a.m. playing it, <laughs> is why, <laughs> is basically what's happening with, with, with me. I, I think I'm, like, intimidated by this game, honestly. Yeah. No, that's totally understandable. Like, I even... I really was at the beginning, so. I even stopped playing, like, almost an hour ago. Uh-huh. Uh, I was playing it... Uh, uh, for a few hours today and yeah just uh, there's just so a lot it's a lot and yeah i before i even learned how much there was i was like there's so much happening there's so much to do already mm-hmm. uh i think it was right when i first you know got my feet going on at at lookout landing you know mm-hmm. and i was just like a little overwhelmed yeah and then i found out the game was even bigger than i thought it was yeah. um so a little preface little preface we will be spoiling some things they're typically only things you'd know within the first 10 15 hours no major story spoilers because i obviously neither of us have finished the game right so there'll be no major story spoilers going forward but um there will be some definitely some surprises and initial thoughts mm-hmm. um so if you haven't played it and want to go in completely blind, I understand not listening. But, uh, you know, you can still download. So <laughs> Yeah. Download and save for later. Anyway, that being said, yeah. let's move on. So what, I, what I've done is the same, one of the same things I did in Breath of the Wild. And that okay. is, so both games have these high towers that you get to the top of and they allow you to scan and fill out your map. Which I love the version of that in this game. Yeah. I think it's very fun. Yeah. The little cable that, that's yeah. attached to him also, and everything. Also, Pura is awesome. <laughs> Pura is a great character. Yeah. Still does the check it thing. I'm just like, yeah. amazing. <laughs> I saw somebody who was like, I love that they've figured out immortality and she's just keeping it to herself, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> whatever, no big deal. <laughs> yeah. yeah, fantastic. So, uh, in this game, I had an easier time getting to all of them because I've gotten to yeah. all of them and I'm still pretty early in the game. I would agree it was easier. In Breath of the Wild, there were a few that there was just like a hard, like, I cannot get past this right now. Mm-hmm. I need to come back when I'm better prepared. Yeah. Um, I, I would say about half of them are not where you can just walk up to them and do them. Right. There's some sort of mini side quest uh, that yep. you have to do. Uh, but I didn't find any of those especially difficult. No. I don't think. Did, was there any that tripped you up at all? 
honestly, um, so, so the one on top of Mount Laneru, you need to the the wet the wet one or oh yeah, so... it's surrounded by ice. So oh you yeah, can't yeah, climb yeah, yeah, yeah. It, um, and so I was looking up how to. Uh, so like I try to There's do things on my own, ways, and then yeah. if I just can't figure it out, I'll I'll look up how to do it. Yeah. And uh, they said, oh, you have to ride one of those rocks up. Uh, that, oh. that are falling down. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I'm sure those there's really other use, ways those are to really do it, useful. but yeah. Um, those things can get you some air. They're and awesome. And it was annoying because I was right up against the bottom of it, and I was like, oh, those are actually really far away. And mm -hmm. so uh, that one took me a little while. So, um, you want to know what I did for that one? Mm. Uh, there's some wood nearby, uh -huh. and I just made a bridge that went <laughs> all the way from the bottom to like almost halfway up the tower. Wow. Like, it was the longest bridge of all time. <laughs> like it was absurd that I could even make it. Yeah. That's how I got up there. I just made a bridge. So um, <laughs> it's like, that's like how there was a shrine where it's like brute force. <laughs> you could, it, it was like, you could do like these mining cart things, but okay. like the rails weren't right for you to just put a regular old mining cart on there you had to uh -huh. do something else and uh so instead of bothering with any of that i just walked on the rail <laughs> as if it was like a balance beam awesome. and i made it so i think that might be the same one that that stumped me for a while yeah uh i found it was easiest to well no it wasn't that one it was like a minecart one but there weren't minecarts yeah all you had was flat stone to work mm -hmm. to work with that one i watched a video to figure out so but, yeah. that one once I realized the concept of a T shape, yeah, I was like, oh, okay, I totally, and then yep. I just did it, you know. So yeah, that one was tough a little bit, but yeah, um, some some of the a lot of the shrines I have been able to figure out on my own, or at least find a way to yeah. complete them on my own. Thankfully, and there's then, a million ways. I yeah. think for and then there's a few the that shrines. I've had to look up a video, but. Often it would be just to get past one little puzzle uh -huh, within the sure. shrine, and then as soon as I knew like, how to do oh, that, I, I could do the rest of it myself. For sure, for sure. The one in the darkness with where we you have the little light. Oh yeah, I um, love that one. I did. It didn't ever occur to me to check that I, uh, whether I to could pick up stuff. any yep. thing off the ground. That was so, really hidden. Yeah. I I think all I did was I walked over there and I was like, this seems like the end and this is just a dead end. There's mm -hmm. no way they would put a dead end here. Yeah. Let me just investigate a little bit, I think is what happened with me there. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good one. And so, uh, yeah, but, um, anyway, and then, back to the towers. Yeah. Yeah. And one of the towers was uh, defended by a bunch of, um, uh, Bokoblins. Mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. I felt, so powerless in the beginning of this game yeah you feel like, like i you, felt like i couldn't fight anything it's very common and like anything could kill me um i, I no longer feel that way I, yeah I've, once I've, you get good fusing materials you're well doing, and, doing yeah, much I've better just, like figured out what i'm doing a little better sure. and uh i would say in general it is i have harder, a few more though, hearts so. now so i can withstand bigger hits but it's like anytime i tried to fight anything it would kill me yeah Whereas in Breath of the Wild, like, Book Goblins, all, uh, almost laughable. right from the beginning, yeah. were laughably weak. Just yeah. like, whatever. Pfft. I would and... say, in general, stuff does seem tougher in mm -hmm. general. Yeah. Most definitely. And just the fact that the weapons are all canonically messed up means they're just yep, they bat suck. worse in general. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Plain weapons are unusable. Like, you have to get mm -hmm. good fuse materials, period, yeah. to do anything. I've been... Uh, so I'm at a point now where, so I finished the Rito quest and then yeah. now I'm just oh, kind of, did. you did, that's news yes. to me. Yeah. Yes. Um, and then now I'm just kind of slowly expanding, slowly exploring mm -hmm. places. I'm expanding the depths, like nice. uh, getting to the different, uh, Excellent. light seeds, um, man, light the, roots. The depths is really something, man. Yeah. I, yeah. That's what I sort of, uh meant earlier when i said i, I re didn't realize how big the game was uh, how they just doubled the map size by yeah. making it underground yeah. it's literally it's the full map of the it's game like, underground. it's like two and a quarter times because there's also the sky <laughs> yeah well and and then the on the surface there's so many caves and wells now yeah the, there's tons of caves that are pretty big mm -hmm. like that's kind of insane yeah it's no. it is absurdly bigger this game and the depths are terrifying. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I 
I'm scared still when I go down there. Yeah. Um, the Gerudo Desert Tower was a little hard to get to, but I just wound up uh, waiting until evening and then doing it during evening instead of oh, because, because I didn't have enough heat resistance because oh, I yeah. didn't know about the ruby on the do shield the, trick. Do, do the sapphire thing. Yeah. By the way, so you, you, you uh, told me about the rubies and sapphires on the shield. Yeah. So there was one point where there was a uh, shock like uh, like like electrical yeah yeah and uh i had a topaz in my inventory and i'm like huh so i attached that to my shield and it uh blocked the electric uh, heck yeah so, see yeah. that's that's choose of the kingdom thinking uh -huh. it's dude it's so hard to grasp that everything does something yeah uh -huh. like just assume this is real life and everything does something <laughs> <laughs> like everything can react in different ways yeah it is really absurd uh -huh. yeah i am loving that aspect of it yeah like i thought breath of the wild was like that and that's nothing compared to this game mm -hmm. i feel like very <laughs> very early in it's, the game i it's nuts i took a board and i attached four wheels to it and put yep. a fan on it and i was like behold the car i've done it incredible and i would whack it and it would go for like 10 seconds and burn out and be like yeah Heck that yeah. was great we did it we did it guys <laughs> i yeah, you shouldn't look online too much mm -hmm. because you get discouraged by the amount of things people are able to do. In this <laughs> I'm seeing Metal Gears. Somebody like made a functioning Metal Gear Rex in this game. Okay, which is just I, like a mech. I don't even. It's a I mech. don't even understand how that's possible. But all right, and it's like it, you can move it, and it and it has guns, and <laughs> I'm like, that is so insane. No. Um, I can't wait to see what Dunkey has come up with. <laughs> he's already put out two videos uh -huh. if, in this game, and they are very absurd. Uh huh. Um, <laughs> And he makes the classic Psycho Mantis joke. It's great. I love it. <laughs> uh, shout out to Dunky. Um, yeah, the imagination is ridiculous in this. I um, Where am I at? I also have only done the Ritos. Mm -hmm. I have tried to be... Um, I don't know. I'm being very slow <laughs> with yeah. story progression. Not surprising because there's a lot to do. But um, I love Tolan's ability. It's yeah. really nice, especially when you're high oh, up. So I wanted I wanted to talk about this. So I I I got it, him and I are going going around trying to climb up this thing, and I've got his ability, and I thought I used it. It turned out I hadn't actually used it because I yes. didn't know how it worked. Just the get but ready. I part. was like, this is stupid. Like, this makes he, like no difference. It's like it didn't here. make a difference because I didn't use it. Oh, that'll do it. <laughs> Turns out you have to press A twice first twice. to get him ready and then to actually then goes, use Woo! the ability. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so when you use it, it's great. A lot yeah. of nice wind gust. And dude, he he's also a great like turret. Like he's killed things for me like he can well he, yeah he makes ha some shots, having his dude. avatar just floating around yeah. with me all the time it has been kind of awesome dude is a good shot like, yeah it's like having an auto turret with you I all know. the time <laughs> yeah like i was uh practicing fighting a lionel uh, okay i haven't even seen a lionel yet yeah i feel like they're not as common um i did i found one in the hyrule field area um and uh there's like a part where i you know you go to shoot him in the face to stun him for a second mm. and half the time tolan does it before i can oh, <laughs> i'm wow. like heck yeah this mm. rules <laughs> it's like always a headshot too i'm like this guy's awesome yeah so i'm waiting a little bit on that um i'm sort of focusing on side quests and like clothing and armor right now mm -hmm. there's a lot of cool armor sets in this game um there is, I was watching a couple of videos. I tried mm -hmm. not to watch too much, yeah. but you know, Austin John plays on YouTube, does okay. some really good um, little tutorial stuff on specific missions or specific uh, like armor sets you can get. Um, and I was watching one on the Fierce Deity outfit, mm -hmm. which was in Breath of the Wild, but you can only get it with the Majora's Mask Amiibo. Uh, whereas in this game, you can actually just get it in like chests, you know, oh, in nice. hidden caves and stuff. And do you know, you know, the fierce deity mask from Majora's Mask at all? 
it's like I guess it's not. like a light blue link and he has like glowing eyes mm. and he's like possessed by a, a god and he's super strong um anyway it's a cool outfit mm-hmm. and so i got that and uh to upgrade them that brought me to i had to get shards of the the dragons <laughs> so have you seen the dragons much as you're uh-huh. playing yeah i've seen a few of them yeah so it's interesting how they play how they work in this i watched a video from austin john on uh f- how to f- you know farm sort of the the dragon parts okay the best ways to get dragon parts basically and it turns out all three dragons are on a constant like loop hmm. of, of where they go 24 hmm. 7 whether you're playing or not like from the moment you start the game they start their cycle their their walk cycle basically okay um and so it's really predictable which is nice and so they actually a lot of the time they spend half the time above ground and half the time in the depths oh interesting. So you can actually, i didn't even know yeah so you can actually see the, the dragons in the depths yeah um they're usually pretty high up obviously but yeah. um do you see yeah, there's really like sheer walls in the depths where rivers are mm-hmm. above ground yeah that's Isn't that interesting, interesting? Yeah, it can make traversing kind of difficult. Yeah, <laughs> in the depths. I was yes, climbing. I've definitely I, noticed that a, a wall that I couldn't see because it was too dark, and <laughs> uh, it turned out to be one of those. So I wouldn't have been able to climb. Yeah, a lot of the, to the I think top the, anyway. I think a lot of the times they don't have tops. Yeah, so yeah, that's a whole thing. But I found out you can ride the dragons. Basically, oh, wow. you can just get on them, and obviously you need resistance to them. So like on Nydra, you have to have full, you know, cold resistance and be unfreezable. Otherwise, mm. you'll just freeze solid if you go on her. Yeah. But basically, once you're on the dragon, you can just ride them as long as you want. Mm. And uh, if you hit them for like a, a shard or a fang or something, um, they sort of go dim. And then, it, and then it, in 10 real time minutes, they'll sort of recharge and you can hit them again to get another piece, uh, mm. another shard of something. And so I went and got one of each thing because there's a shard, there's a talon, there's a fang, there's a horn. Um, and the horns make amazing weapons. You can fuse them uh, to a weapon to add like 30, 35 or something. Oh, my. Damage to your, to your yeah. weapon. Yeah. So it makes your, you know nine power sword a yeah. 42 power sword <laughs> a little better the, the strongest item i found so far was i think a blue horoblin yeah that's a good horn. that's a good one yeah yeah if you can if you can get if you can find black lizalfos that mm. is such a good one yeah that's a great one for just like a, a one-handed sword and i think that's like 36 also it's yeah. it's something pretty good no, i think also, it's, i think it's like 25 i go yeah. through weapons so quick yeah yeah they really don't last it. very long tell me about and it it's, so i every time i get the opportunity i have has to increase my melee weapons because yeah. they're so useful for things like rock hammers and stuff like that for sure yeah yep i've done that with i like shields a lot so i've been doing that with shields too but i wish i had a melee weapon that like it wouldn't have to do very much damage it could have a t- an attack power of just one but with like almost infinite durability because of things mm-hmm. like um light bloom flowers being able to like hit them to activate them without like having to waste a weapon yeah i've i've basically i've gone to just throwing the the seeds yeah um which most of the time they open up when they when when you throw them oh uh, against the ground i have a i've had a couple duds basically before yeah but if it's far away you i usually just shoot an arrow with a light bloom seed on the on the tip of it but then that's a waste of an arrow. Yeah, so I was going to say, for me, arrows are pre- more precious than anything. Yeah, I have like 500 arrows right now. I have now. zero at the moment because <laughs> I keep going through them all. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to go on just like a a quest of just getting getting arrows maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Between all the shops, you can buy a good amount of them. Yeah. And then, yeah, just breaking every crate and barrel you see, basically. I do. I do have a lot of flowers. <laughs> yeah, I, I keep finding like hey, areas something. where I have. There's just a ton of them, and I just pick them, pick yeah. them all up. Nice. Anytime I see a consumable item, pretty on the much ground, just I pick, pick it up. up pretty yeah. much. So I think I'm. I have the biggest issue with keeping bomb flowers. Oh yeah. Bombs are too useful, and I'm just I, I go through those like crazy. 
But uh, where was I going with that? Oh, yeah. Uh, do you know about the fourth new dragon? Oh. oh there's a light dragon. Mm-hmm. You probably haven't seen it because it's 2,000 meters in the air. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's like uh, as tall or just above the great sky island that mm-hmm. you start on. It's like one of the highest points in the game. So, And it's on a cycle that's that circles the entire map. Mm-hmm. So it's a lot harder to, to track down. Yeah. Um, but her stuff's really cool. It's like a white dragon. And if you get her shards... They do like healing. They like heal you as you as you like attack with them. Which, oh wow, which nice! Is pretty sweet. Yeah, um, so that was really fun. And then, yeah, dragons. <laughs> anyway, I, I used that uh, to upgrade the fierce deity stuff because the fierce deity armor gives you attack up, just like the barbarian armor does, mm. which is really nice uh, to to have. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm all I, about armor pieces. I don't have a lot of armor pieces yet. I've got um, a couple things that give you cold resistance, one that gives you heat resistance, one that increases climbing speed. Um, yeah, I only have one piece of the climbing gear still because yeah. I think the other two are in in like the Zora area, mm-hmm. and I haven't touched the Zora stuff yet. So yeah, I think that's probably the next place I'll go. Just yeah, I was thinking of doing Goron next actually. Yeah, for my second one. Mm. Yeah. Oh, you can buy the the flame proof stuff mm-hmm. in Goron City, just like just like in Breath of the Wild. Yeah. So if you're ever looking for that, you can just find it there. Yeah. Oh, Goron City, you can fix weapons. Mm. You can fix weapons that are about to break. Oh, um, okay, interesting. In this, there was so just like the other game in like the Goron the the Death Mountain area, there are these Octoroks uh-huh. that like suck in stuff. And then they like shoot a flaming rock at you. Um, and in Breath of the Wild, they could suck up a rusty weapon. And like when they spit it back out, it would be like not rusty anymore. Right. Mm. Um, in this game, they literally fix weapons. Interesting. Um, but the, oh, they can only do it once every Blood Moon. So oh. before they respawn. But Blood Moons happen like every other day, I feel like. Have mm. you noticed that? I feel like Blood Moons are just constant. Maybe that's just you me. You know what's but... funny? I've experienced them less than I did in Breath of really? the Wild. Really? Gosh, yeah. I feel like they're freaking. I felt like in day. Breath of the Wild, it happened like five times a play session, yeah. and it's happened to me twice ever. Interesting. So for me, or it's no, happened, three times. It's happened at least every time I've I've played, usually multiple times. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah. If you drop a weapon in front of uh, the Octorok, he'll suck it up, fix it completely, uh, and he and he always adds a buff to it too. So either like plus attack or durability up or, you know, one of those things. Yeah. So super sweet. So if you have a weapon you're really, you really like, mm-hmm. or that's really strong, you don't want to waste the material. Um, just save it when it's almost broken. Yeah. Go find those. I have super awesome. two non-rusty swords that I combined into one. Nice. A super long, sword. Uh, yeah. Non-rusty sword. <laughs> a sword sword. Yes. Heck, a sword sword. heck yeah. Yeah. I love that. Um, <laughs> that's fun i uh so i'm not gonna spoil anything i accidentally found the master sword oh <laughs> i was doing something and there it was and i just i could not believe it it was so awesome like i'm so glad like i'm not gonna tell you even a little bit about where it was <laughs> because it was so cool yeah to just not know anything and just stumble upon it yeah. Like the the feeling of discovery, you know, was so awesome. Did you anyway? So have I have you that. found Zelda's well. Uh, yes. Okay. It's right so behind. I did too. It's right behind her house. Yeah. I, and she that, uh, tells or you or your house, their uh, house. <laughs> Maybe it's their house. She together, tells you huh? how to. Uh, 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 her diary has um, mm-hmm. the location of the armor. Yeah. yeah. Have you gotten it yet? No. I Champions leathers. I haven't been inside the castle, so it's worth it. It is so easy compared to the first game. Yeah. There's like nothing in there. Oh, okay. um, it's floating a little bit, so you got to like be creative in how you get there. Uh-huh. But just just so you know, there's no bosses in there. There's no there's mm-hmm. nothing. So totally go explore there because you get good weapons. You get a lot of good stuff in there. And yeah, so it's in the main room, the like you know the king's chamber, like where the throne is and stuff. Yeah, is where the the mm-hmm. new champion thing is. Yes, very cool. And yeah, there's royal guard weapons. There's the royal weapons. I love mm. I love all those. Um, I found this really cool strategy for Lionels in particular. 
Mm. So the Royal Guard weapons, which are in the which were like the black, really cool royal looking ones. Okay. I, don't, I don't know if you remember those from Breath of the Wild, but um, they were super strong, but bre- they break after like ten hits. Like they're yeah. terrible durability. Um, but in this game, once they're about to break, when the little message says so and so is badly damaged, right? Their attack power is doubled. Oh, interesting. So it goes from like you know a twenty power thing to a forty power thing, and that stacks with the material that you put on it. Hmm. So what I did is I got a royal uh, guard's halberd, like mm-hmm. a spear, and I attached a diamond to it. Yeah, which are like thirty power. They're very powerful. Yeah. Um, and so and then I hit it hit it against like a a, a, a like a rock <laughs> until it was almost broken. And it went up to 90 power, I think. Wow. Like it's a 90 power weapon. Crazy. And so that is my Lionel weapon mm. because there's a whole, there's a little known thing, I guess, that if you're fighting a Lionel and uh, he gets stunned, you shoot him in the head. He mm. gets stunned for a second. You can go around him and mount the Lionel. Mm. You can get on his back and then, and then you can like hit him a bunch from the back. And for some reason, when you're on his back, and you hit him, it doesn't break your weapon. Mm. It does not lose any durability. So even though this thing is about to break, I can use it infinitely on the back of a Lionel. Wow. So I forever have a, a Lionel killing machine. <laughs> and this was in Breath of the Wild, too. Oh, so like it's not a bug or anything. It's apparently just you know a, a secret of killing Lionels. So ideally, I can defeat any Lionel if I do it properly without breaking anything without losing any uh like weapons or anything nice. super cool especially if you have if you have you know the barbarian armor that gives you attack up three times and you drink a level three attack yeah. up thing then it's like two sessions of hitting him and he's dead basically yeah mm-hmm. pretty sweet so that's pretty fun that's what i'm doing now nice i gotta i gotta yeah there's so much to do. I have a little journal. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because if I think of something that I want to do, I don't want to forget about it. Uh-huh. So I was like, oh, I'll do that later. I'll write it down. <laughs> I literally am writing things down <laughs> because there's so much to do. Um, I uh, Have you gotten many booble gems yet? I have like eight of them. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. No. Um, so there are, there's around 100 caves, I think, mm-hmm. in, the, in the whole game. Every single cave has a bubble frog in yeah. it one of those guys and you get a bubble gem from those from each one of those and um have you started the side quest for that at all have you found that at all no okay so the monster shop owner from Mm -hmm. the first game remember kilton the weird guy i think so he's like and he loves monsters (laughs) okay he's a little freak uh his little brother's in this game now and he's obsessed with the satori Mm -hmm. the like the little blue special things yeah um yeah. i did I, I went up on top of this hill and there was this tree and you can put a fruit there mm-hmm. as an like offering to it and then, and then uh, it'll he appeared and yeah yeah so um those are like located all around the map mm-hmm. and they they make the whole surrounding area those are all cave entrances yeah and so you can you know farm sort of look for bubble gems that way which is really nice um, anyway, they're for this guy who's obsessed with the Satori and no. he'll trade you different special items, uh, for in, in exchange for booble gems. Yeah. It's funny. I think I probably have talked it to him because there was a guy who talked about the Satori and bubble gems. But... Okay. Then maybe. Yeah. But, you'd yeah. rec- you'd remember him. He's a freak. <laughs> um, anyway, you can get this new armor set that's like based on the Satori. It's like these robes. Mm. Really cool. Yeah. Um, I still need to get the headdress for that. But anyway, it's super cool. Uh, he's also the one that gives you the monster masks. Mm. The, like the Bokoblin head or the Moblin head and stuff. Mm. Those, were in, those were in the first game too. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, that's what I'm up to. I've still only found like 10 Korok seeds total. <laughs> oh, don't worry. You're close. There's only a thousand. Yeah. <laughs> No joke. I think, yeah, I think it's like there's a hundred in the sky and nine hundred in the in the main area, mm. something like that. None in the depths. There's mm. good snow. Yeah. There's no Koroks in the depths. 
that would suck. It's too dark of a place for them. Yeah, <laughs> for real. I got um, I have like eighty of those little blue uh, flames. Uh, those little blue light the things flames. that you find oh, the in the pose. Deaths. The pose, yeah. The pose. Yeah, you got to start that quest line too. The yeah. bargainer statue thing. Yeah, I'd love to get just a ton of them so that when I start the quest, I can just, you like, can just get stuff. Right away. So the best um, thing that comes out of that is the, the depths, like robes. Hmm. They look so awesome. Yeah. You look dope. And it gives you gloom resistance, which is really nice. Oh, nice. Um, It's like... It gives you like these three, if you have all three pieces, mm -hmm. you get like three special hearts that are sort of to the side. They're not temporary hearts. They're like gloom resistance hearts, basically. Yeah. So like if you walk through gloom, it'll slowly take those away before your own health, basically. Mm. Um, or if you get hit by gloom and stuff. So yeah, pretty sweet. And it looks cool, which is, <laughs> which is a bonus. But um, yeah. Yeah, I think that's probably the thing. I should I should do more, more, more depth stuff soon. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just scared. Have you seen any like weird hideouts or any other areas in the in the depths? Any, Not really. No. Any other things? Yeah. Well, there's, there's there's some been people. A couple down there. of gloom co covered giants. Oh um, yeah, terrifying. There's a couple of like Bokoblin like. Mm -hmm. uh, places but little camps yeah I'm, uh, yeah little camps but I there's some people anything else i'll really. just say there's some people down there mm -hmm. there's some there's some other people down there yeah 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 you got to go get the auto build thing you should go do that yeah i don't i don't even know where it is so it's right beneath the uh, great plateau yeah i don't know where the great, great plateau is the great plateau where you start i re i remember what it was from Breath of the Wild, but I don't remember oh, where it is. It's a big circle. <laughs> and it's a, and? it's lifted. It's like a castle around it. Right. It's like gigantic. I have not seen it. <laughs> it's just to the left of uh, Hyrule Field. It's okay. big. It's big. It's right <laughs> below the... It's the whole just, map is big. It's just south of the Coliseum. I don't know where Hyrule that is Field. either. It's in Hyrule Field. I'll kill you. <laughs> uh, I'm like, I know this map like the back of my head. Yeah, that's not true. It is. It, I'm just now becoming familiar with it again. Yeah, I felt like I was so familiar in Breath of the Wild, and now I'm like, where, I feel like where is anything moved a little from? Yeah, Breath of the it's Wild. all shifted. Nothing, a nothing bit. is exactly where it was. Yeah. Yeah. Especially Kakariko, I feel like feels feels very different. Yeah. Have you been to Kakariko Village yet? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, little little Paya being the yeah. <laughs> the main girl now. It's yeah. so funny. Uh, have you done the tier things yet? The like, the geoglyphs, the big like crop circle looking things. No. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's a <laughs> lot. It's a lot like the memories. Yeah. You remember that from Breath of the Wild? Yeah. Yeah. Where it's like played little clips of story. Also, one of the lore. towers that was really annoying was uh, it was covered in bramble bushes and oh, yes. uh, just constantly raining. Yep, the wet one. And uh, gotta, like, I ran out of shelter. flint. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yep, I finally found enough wood to make like a shelter around the very yeah. main gate I just, part. I, I but... stuck a bunch of boards together and made a roof. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and then uh, that uh, eventually worked. And then I started a uh, like a campfire basically, and then I threw a pine cone on it to make it big. Nice, and there you go. That cleared it up. Yep. Yeah, have you um, been throwing things, throwing materials? Not very often, but yeah. I just, I just love that you can do that now. I yeah. think that's awesome. It's a great addition. And it's a great way to not wait to s save arrows, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to throw a bomb or throw a, a fire flower or whatever. Yeah. Fire fruit. Fire fruit. Yeah. Ooh, if you ever need to get over water, mm -hmm. throw an ice fruit on it. Mm. And it makes a little square of ice that you oh, can nice. walk on. Pro tip. Cool. I, found, I saw a video of that. <laughs> I didn't come up with that. I guess I'll stop cooking all of the all of mine. <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. Anytime I have more than like five of something, I just start cooking a lot of it. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Because food is useful. Having uh, food is good. Yeah, <laughs> food is a good thing. There's a lot of new recipes in this in this game. Mm -hmm. Um, because they added cheese. Mm. There's cheese now. Um, it's part of a quest line in Hateno, mm -hmm. Hateno Village. 
Uh, it's part of like the main election quest line. Okay. Anyway, you can help somebody open a cheese shop, basically. Yeah. That's really cool because they also added Hylian tomatoes. I'm sure you've seen yes, those. Yes, I have come across And those. so you can actually, you can make a pizza in this game. Oh, nice. Because <laughs> there's cheese. Pizza, pizza. It's like, yeah, it's Hateno cheese and Hylian tomatoes, Tabantha wheat. I think there's probably rock salt in it, too. I don't remember the exact recipe. Yeah. But <laughs> I love that stuff. I think it's fun. Mm-hmm. I dig it's fud. Oh, I also found out about golden apples. Uh-huh. I know what those are about. Okay. So they give more hearts, obviously, than regular mm-hmm. apples, but they also make it so whatever you're cooking, it's always a critical cook. Mm. So you always get like the special jingle. Yeah. And it gives bonus like hearts or or t- okay. effects or whatever. Yeah, I think I did so one cool. that was like four regular apples and a gold apple, and it mm-hmm. gave me like 10 plus something hearts. Mm-hmm. It was just a ton of hearts. Yeah. yeah, it's really nice. So it's more plus the critical. So yeah. also apparently you can, um, if there's a blood moon that mm-hmm. night, but before the blood moon actually happens. So like you just see it, but the cutscene hasn't played mm-hmm. at like 1130 uh, PM. Yeah. Everything you cook for the next half hour in game. So it's only like, you know, a minute or so in real life, but um, it's always critical. It's a critical cook every time. Interesting. Really weird. So for that half hour, you can do a bunch of cooking and get really good uh, effects out of it. I also learned that from from Austin John. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Ah, There's so many little things. Yeah. Like, how would you ever know any of this? Right. (laughs) Unless you've watched videos or something. I I run into that a lot. Like, how would I have ever known to do this or do that or whatever? But yeah. Yep. It's all a lot of experimentation is good, I guess, Mm -hmm. in this. Um, have you heard of the item duplication? No. Ryan, we all know how much you love glitches. Right. <laughs> have you updated your game? It's up to date. It's fully up to date. So yeah. it's 1.0.2, I think. I guess. It said there are no more updates available. So, so if no you have updates. fully updated it, you can't do these glitches. Oh, okay. But I will still explain them to you. Okay. Because they were absurd absurdly easy to do (laughs) um so essentially what it came down to was if you exit the menu and sort the menu at the same time Mm. stuff gets duplicated (laughs) basically okay so if you jumped off of an edge of some sort and put out your paraglider so you're in the air Mm. you pause you select five items that you want to duplicate yeah. Say it's golden apples or zonite or diamonds, whatever you want to do. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> you're holding the five things. You hit sort and back at the same time. So Y and B, mm-hmm. the exact same time. You'll exit. You'll drop the five things, but the five will still be in your inventory. Mm. That's it. It just works. And it was it's, it was that easy every single time. Mm. Um, and if you were flying a lot, you could just do it over and over. And just keep dropping stuff but not losing anything. And so you could just have hundreds of whatever you want, which is a bit insane, obviously. Yeah. Um, I may have done it a little bit <laughs> just for fun. Um, so that was the main one, the main item duplication. It also worked, however, with, with arrows. So oh, if you okay. took an arrow and you wouldn't actually duplicate the arrow, unfortunately. Mm. But you just duplicate what's on the end of it. So if you attach like a bomb flower or whatever, and then you pause, you drop that bow, and you equip a different bow, and then you pause and unpause, like ba ba, like on the same frame basically. You have to like pause and unpause super quickly, um, or unpause and pause again, and then drop the second weapon, the weapon mm-hmm. you're now holding. Drop both, and then exit the menu. And if you did it fast enough, you'd pick up both bows and you would have two of that item now instead of just one. Mm. For some reason, that duplicates the item, right? And you could do the same thing, basically, but with weapons. <laughs> you could just duplicate weapons and, and bows and stuff. You would just It's basically the same method as what I just said, but you have to save and load a save at, the same, at, at a time also. Mm. So that was the whole thing. And so those were the main item duplications that were just patched um but one other thing was patched also which 
uh, I agree with the video I watched on it. I cannot believe this got past playtesting. <laughs> it is so insane. So in the Karakara Bazaar is one of the only places where you can buy seared steak. Okay. And, and roasted like bass. So the type of food you just make at a campfire mm-hmm. instead of like actually in an actual cooking pot, right? Yeah. So if you had none of those in your inventory, so I've, I've never had seared, I, I don't have any seared steak with me. And then you eat an item or, or, or a food that gives you like attack up, like okay. attack up three for half an hour or whatever, like a super good uh, thing. And right after you eat it, you go and buy seared steak. Mm-hmm. That seared steak just has that now. It has <laughs> that buff. Wow. The the attack up three or whatever. So after eating one food, you just have that. And those type of foods, they stack instead of take up their own little mm. spot. And so you can have 200 seared steaks that all give you attack up three. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. That's all you have to do. You just don't have to have any. You eat the food like normal. Yeah. And then you just go buy it and you, it just has that. Like that is an absurd glitch. Like that's almost not even a glitch. Like... um but we know it was because it was patched in this latest <laughs> thing that doesn't work anymore. <laughs> but like it worked with like attack up, you know, movement speed, stealth. It mo- it worked with temporary hearts mm-hmm. uh, for for like hearty food. So that was just absurd. I can't believe that was that was real, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but very fun. Um, yeah, just fantastic. So unfortunately, those glitches are now gone. Uh, apparently, there's still a way to duplicate weapons and bows mm-hmm. using those Octoroks I talked about. Um, but it's way more difficult, yeah. <laughs> more way more difficult of a glitch than that other thing. And so there was a lot of discourse on Twitter, like people who are anti-duplication and people who were just, who were having fun with it and like <laughs> a lot of arguments about that kind of stuff. <laughs> of course. Of course, right, yeah. So, yeah. Those people will argue about anything. They'll argue about anything. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, while we're talking about arguments and stuff. Oh. Uh, here's a hot take from Brian. Oh, no. Everyone get ready. My hot take is that game overs are bad game design. <gasps> game overs are bad game design. Now, what to you is a game over? When you die and have to revert to your last save point. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think that is bad game design. I think if you are able to go and do like an hour's worth of in-game stuff and then die and have that hour completely gone. Yeah. That's bad. That's just like, there's no, I don't think there's any excuse for that. I don't think that makes the game good. I don't think that makes the game engaging i don't think even, yeah. that's i don't consider that a challenge i think i consider that a waste of time yeah <laughs> i mean i totally see that yeah you mentioned that that happened to you mm-hmm. and i'm shocked there wasn't an auto save before then me too there's auto saves constantly yeah in the this game, game saves a lot so the really fact that often i can do that much and not have it save is you know i wonder if that was a me. glitch almost of some sort yeah that it didn't auto save. So what were you doing exactly? I was if you wouldn't mind explaining. trying to fight my way into the tower that was defended by a bunch of bow goblins. Okay. Okay. So And in this case in it wasn't area. actually an hour. Sure, sure. It was only about twenty minutes. But you killed a lot of things. Yeah. Right. I got I made some progress and uh, and I was doing stuff for a good twenty minutes. Yeah. And then ap- when I died Everything I had done was gone. Yeah. It was wonder, as if I had never done it. So. I wonder if they purposely don't autosave in the middle of battles. Yeah. So that you don't like revert back in the middle of a battle, I guess. I don't know. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know. That does really suck though. Yeah. It makes me want to save often though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's but for like, sure. I, I, I've had that in games before. And yeah. It's, there's, there's other games that it are was much far more, more egregious, egregious than this. Egregious. And yeah. This just, one's pretty tame comparatively, yeah. but yeah. Uh, yeah. My most notable is the, the Persona 3 thing, which yeah. I, I think I've mentioned but before. Like, but that's like, it made me put the game down for the night that day. And like, I would have kept playing had, that not, had I not gone Very through that. Very frustrating. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's a shame. But that, yeah, that's the kind of thing that makes me stop playing it's games. The, um, it's the reason I haven't picked up Final Fantasy IX in over a decade. That game is pretty ruthless, though. So like, <laughs> it's pretty that harsh. only happened one time, but pretty still, harsh game. That happened once. I put the game down. I haven't picked it up well, in over a decade. Yeah, just because of that. Yeah, uh, what a shame. Good, good Final Fantasy too. Yeah. 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 It's you know speaking of that, in the if you're farming dragons you gotta Uh be careful yeah because if you ride dragons um it will never auto save on a dragon Mm. because i know for a fact they won't it doesn't auto save if you're in midair yeah and even though you're you're stood on the dragon it doesn't count that as solid ground interesting so it will never auto save if you're on a dragon Mm. so you could be up there farming for two hours and if you're not saving your your inventory is not being saved so, but you can manually save yes okay so every time you get a part of some sort get a get a scale mm-hmm. or something save every time in yeah. between 100 percent. very important that's one thing that's really nice about playing some games especially some older games that don't that are a little more brutal about that mm-hmm. is playing them on emulators with save states hmm Mm-hmm. where you don't have to rely on the games uh, on save points or anything like that. You right. Can you can just, just save, save whenever. Anytime. It is really nice. Yeah. That's the only reason I had the patience to get through Super Mario World. Oh, yeah. Dude, platform, old platformers especially, yeah. save states are almost uh, like ne- completely necessary. There were some levels where I saved, uh, did a save state after every jump. <laughs> Because of how hard some of those jumps were. Well, especially for like a not not really a platformer person. Yeah. Yeah. Completely understandable. That's how I beat uh, Mario 2 of the Lost Levels. Mm-hmm. The like Japanese Mario 2. Yeah. This is the only way I could do it is because of save states. Yeah. I mean, I beat the whole game, which is awesome, but still, I use save yeah. states 100%. Yeah. Uh, what are your hearts and stamina like? I was, I was curious about that. I have like five or six hearts, and then I've gained two pieces of stamina cool. so far. Yeah. Yeah, once I got two full wheels of stamina, I haven't really like wanted more. It's really, yeah. it's interesting. I feel like the stamina is better in this game than Breath of the Wild. Mm. I feel like especially like swimming and stuff. Yeah. I don't feel like my stamina is constantly gone. Yeah. I don't know if that's if that's really true or not, but uh I'd but yeah. still love to have more to be able to climb stuff. I I climb sure. a lot yeah in these games that's funny in this game i'm climbing less i'm like trying to find other ways to get places yeah other than just climbing up i'm like can i skip this somehow can i just ascend yeah. dude can i build a flying machine it, it's funny sort? every time i'm just like wait i can just ascend here and you can incredible <laughs> it's, it's ascend is just incredible <laughs> yeah for real i do love like the i have a go-to auto build that i do yeah because auto build is amazing yeah um that's like a wing and some fans and like a controller and like two rockets that shoot you up it's awesome Mm -hmm. (laughs) it's a nice little flying machine i I like to do but yeah that's that's fun a lot of people have been doing this this like hoverboard type of thing yeah it's literally just two fans with like a controller in the middle Mm -hmm. that you can control it with and that's it and you can just you just kind of fly around with it (laughs) really Mm -hmm. nice some of those ONI devices are pretty sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty pretty good stuff. Do you have a lot of uh, capsules, little capsules of ZoneI devices? Only like three or four. Yeah. That's really fun. Yeah. You find you find those mostly on the Sky Islands? Yeah. I So I co- collected a full stack of ZoneI, uh, ZoneIte. Nice. And so I, w- I went and turned it in for a bunch of crystals and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Crystal yeah, once things. you're up to a cr- hundred crystallized charges, mm-hmm. you can get uh, another segment of battery. Yeah, maximum battery. Um, I'm at I'm at two batteries and one little segment. I think currently, mm. but I focused on that for a little while. Yeah, and there's a there's a boss down in the depths that if you beat him, uh, he drops a chest that has a hundred uh, mm. charges in it. So nice. a full you know new segment of of thing which which was really nice so yeah that's the same area you get auto build mm. just saying so it's, it's underneath the great plateau <laughs> your favorite place the place yeah. you know like the back of your hand yes <laughs> uh, yeah there you go yeah i'm uh, having a good time i'd recommend checking out the dragons if you can 
yeah. it's really fun to ride a dragon. So, <laughs> and if you keep your eye out for the light dragon too, it's very noticeable. It's very white and, and pretty. Yeah. Well, it's nice with the the light dragon is you don't need like protection of any kind because mm. it's it like heals you. It doesn't like yeah. it doesn't hurt you in any way. There's no fire surrounding it like like Dunral and stuff. So, yeah, <laughs> pretty cool. Yes, I'm. 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 I'm not obsessed. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm a little bit. It's. It's really fun. Yeah. I just started uh, dyeing some clothes too in oh, Hateno. Yeah. I like. I like the aesthetics. You know. Yeah. That's fun. Mm. That's fun. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh. Uh, if you go to Hyrule Castle, which you should, you yeah. should do that soon. Because yeah. it's, not, it's not a very difficult area. Yeah, so, like, I've been to the, like, outer perimeter because sure. of the, um, they have, uh, one of the first things Pyrrha does is yep. have you yep. go meet that captain. Where you see Zelda for two seconds. Yeah. And she disappears or something. The, yeah, Zelda, <laughs> quote unquote. Zelda, question mark? <laughs> wink, wink. Maybe, who knows? Um, Zelda's acting a little weird. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it's worth it. And in the castle, there was... A place near the docks. Um, it's not in the castle. It's outside the castle. Right. Because the docks are on the surface. The castle's in the sky. Right. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> near the castle, but on the floor, uh, there's like the docks area where there was a shrine in mm. Breath of the Wild. Okay. There was like a big torch. They had a light and then a shrine came up. Yeah. That was in the castle. That was the one shrine in the castle. Mm-hmm. If you can find that, do that. Okay. It's not a shrine now. It's something else, and it's something very good. Yeah, um, oh, it's the Highland Shield, but don't worry about it. <laughs> when so when I, uh, uh, if you'll remember, this is in the first, uh, the early episodes of the podcast when okay. I was playing Breath of the Wild. Heck yeah! Um, I was going to, I was visiting every shrine on the map, uh-huh. not doing every shrine, just uh-huh. visiting them all. And only really doing them if they were a blessing or if they were a quest <laughs> or if it was a quest to open a shrine. Uh-huh. And gotcha. then the shrine was like all the shrine was was collecting the reward because you had right. already a done blessing. the yeah. the quest. Um, just to have places ways to teleport yeah, all around. I mean, the it's map. really nice. Yeah. Uh, so far, with I think one exception, every shrine I've come across, I have done. So you know, it's funny is I'm doing the opposite. Oh, that's funny. There's a few I've only visited yeah. because usually I'm on a mission. <laughs> yeah. And so if I pass, if I find a shrine, I'll like, okay, I'll activate it. I can just teleport here later if I want to do it. Yeah. So I, I have done that, that a few times. You and I have done the opposite now. <laughs> yep. Because but yeah, I'm on a mission, man. I, I got feel stuff like to do. <laughs> the shrines are a little, can be at least shorter. Yeah. I see that. So... Except for some of the, the trial ones where you like have to fight a bunch of constructs, you know? Oh yeah. Where you don't have any any of your items. I've only done two of those, okay. and neither of them took. There's very a lot long, of them, so and some of them take a while. Mm. I felt like at least, um, yeah. There are more shrines in this game. Mm-hmm. There's one fifty four, I think. Yeah. As opposed to one twenty, because of all like the sky ones and stuff. I think um, none in the depths, obviously. That's yeah. all. That's all light routes. Yeah. But. Uh, since, since you told me that shrines are directly yeah. above light roots, so I was like, hey, wait a second. That. I've been to this shrine and I haven't been to the light roots, so there yep. must be a light route down there. And sure enough, very there was, helpful. So, yeah. Some, uh, you don't know usually how low or high it is, though. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes that's been an issue for me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that is really high up. I sometimes don't know if I, can get up there. Uh, I will keep the map on the surface layer while yeah. I'm in the depths. Just to, totally uh, understandable. Yep. Especially because when you're outside of the light root light, uh, it's just mm-hmm. blue squares anyway on mm-hmm. the mini map. So yeah. it's not, not even helpful. very useful. <laughs> not helpful. Yeah. Um, it's cool. A few of the mines, the abandoned mines that you find down there, mm-hmm. there's some cool chests so with some cool like items in it. Yeah. I found a chest with the, the tunic of time in it. Oh. Huh. From like the link amiibo the like the main oh, tunic from ocarina of time okay my like, that's cool <laughs> like there's totally just random stuff down there i love it no yeah you can get some good stuff down there i gotta find the tunic of the wild i don't know where that is hmm. the like the breath of the wild green tunic yeah because you didn't get that in breath of the wild until you did every shrine hmm. 
but in this, I think it's they're just sort of in chests somewhere. So a lot of a lot of hidden treasure around. I've found yeah a lot of. I've not found cool any stuff. great fairies yet. Oh yeah, they are. There's a couple near stables, uh, and there's a there's a side quest mm-hmm. a- attached to them. Instead of you don't just pay them. Oh. <laughs> um, there's like a musical side quest mm-hmm. that's pretty fun actually. There's this troop of this band of troop that's um that that's at at the stables, mm-hmm. and you have to like find members of it and bring them back together. Yeah. Because the great fairies want to hear music, uh. so like one of them wants to hear a violin, wants wants to hear a drum. And that's how you yeah. open the great. Fairies. I've not found any Yiga clan members. I wonder if they're even still around. Oh, they're around. They're around. Okay, oh, good. They're or really, good. they're really around. Oh, great. Like I said, uh, you should go do that, that quest in the depths. That's underneath the great <laughs> oh, no. plateau. The Yiga clan might be a part of it. Mm. Wink, wink. Um, <laughs> hey, remember, remember when you defeated master Koga in breath of the wild? Or did you ever defeat Master Koga? Well, I def- I I beat the Yiga Clan base. Okay. So yeah, yeah. So you fight him in like the big yard or whatever, and at the end he falls down a giant pit. Hmm. Inter- That's the depths. <laughs> Interesting, huh? Yeah. There's a lot of giant pits now all over, all over uh, Hyrule. So mm-hmm. who knows if those things are connected? Yeah. The Yiga Clan base Fine was now. like the most frustrating part of Breath of the Wild for me. Mm-hmm. Thankfully, in this one, it's not a stealth mission. No. I've done it. You do get a really cool thing, though, if you do it. Mm. You get a really cool item. So, Again, it was clothing-related, so I went and did it. Mm. <laughs> so, I will I will spoil the fact you can get a Yika Clan outfit yeah. and blend in with them, which nice. is really cool. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. But what they do make fun of you because they say your hair looks too much like Lynx and that you'll stand <laughs> out. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Uh, oh, did you find the the hairband in Zelda's well? I think so. Yeah, I think because it was in her her secret well. Yeah. But like the old hairband that makes you have Breath of the Wild hair mm. is in there. That's fun. That's fun. Yep. Well, we did it, Brian. We rambled for about an hour <laughs> about Tears of the Kingdom. Any other comments you'd like to make? Oh uh, no! You're tired. I'm. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna keep playing it. Um. Obviously, I'm. I'm gonna just play it until I beat it. But uh, yeah. Uh, there's a f- yeah, few side it. things I might feel do it. in between. Yeah, gotcha. Before I beat it, I don't know if I'm gonna play this all in one go and just beat it all in one. Yeah. Try. I, I do prefer I'm to obsessed, do that with games so. because when I drop a game for too long, it's often a problem. So yeah. Yeah, I'm too obsessed, so I'm, I'm doing every little thing I can. I was thinking about 100%ing it, actually. Yeah. Like, even every Korok and everything. And, like, upgrading every armor piece, stuff like that. But we'll see. Mm-hmm. We'll see if I actually do that. I yeah. think just exploring the fun. entire map would be a pretty yeah. big feat in itself, so. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, I should mention about caves and booble frogs. Mm-hmm. They did, they did such a nice thing in this game. Where on the on the map it'll show a little archway to show where a cave entrance is mm-hmm. that that you've explored already that you've seen. Oh, okay. Um, and if you've gotten the booble gem from that cave, it'll have a little check mark on it. Oh, interesting. Which is so awesome. So if you're going for a lot of booble gems, you you don't have to like you don't have to keep a list or find a checklist online or yeah. anything. It just has that on the map. So super super nice. Uh, for for everyone out there trying to get those booble frogs, it's a good time. <laughs> it's a good time. Uh, well, I guess that's it. Oh, shiny Pokemon update. <laughs> I still don't have a shiny Kiram, no. but I spent uh, yesterday. I spent a few hours doing it <laughs> instead of playing Zelda. You're welcome. So I am currently at 15,515. Oh. 15515. You know, we almost went a whole episode without mentioning Pokemon. Oh, uh-oh. Almost. And then you had to ruin it. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I have to keep the people updated. They're on the edge of their seat. Yeah. When is he going to get a purple Kiram? Well, since we've already pr- broken the, po- the No, it's the an Pokemon. hour. It's an hour. Yeah. We can't. Nope, nope. 
one of the things I want to do. Ten seconds. The next thing I want to do <laughs> is I want to do a no faint run. No faint. In Pokemon. So if I if faint, one faints, I have to start restart. over. Restart? Yep. Jeez. So I'm not following any of the regular Nuzlocke rules. Just no faint. Yeah. Period. So I can catch anything I want. I can kind of do whatever I want. But if any Pokemon faints, I lose. I have to restart. Heck yeah. I've never done that before. That I think that'll be awesome. really interesting. If only we streamed it, maybe. Yeah. That'd be cool. Anyway. But hey, so look forward to that, all you people out there. No. And please download the podcast. Yes. Because it means a lot. Please do. We are nearing 900 downloads if, you, there, if yep. you add 100. <laughs> um, and so That's his way of saying we're just over 800 we're just downloads. Over 800, which is a good amount, and I think that's super cool. So yeah. if you listen and download and everything like that, that really means a lot. We've been doing this om- like over three years now, right? Yeah. So that's that's pretty crazy. This actually. December, it'll be four years. I would say most people podcast. quit a podcast by now. So yeah. I think that's really cool. Yeah, it is. It, it is <laughs> pretty cool, I think, actually. So yeah. thanks for listening to episode 61. Please keep in touch. Uh, go follow our Twitter if you feel like it. It's at the Brothers G Pod. Mm-hmm. Check it out. You can also wait, check wait, out wait, our wait. little just subreddit. Like, just like Pura. Check it. Yeah. Okay. You can check out our little subreddit. It's called r slash brothers game podcast. Comment on it. Be like, this episode sucks. Brian sucks. If you what, want. Wait, why, why, why'd you have to single me out? Oh, sorry. <laughs> this, this sucks. Nikolai sucks. Well, he's pretty cool, I guess. I mean, he's actually kind of cool. <laughs> All right. Good night. <laughs> that everybody. was me. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs>